Alrighty guys, uh, it has been a long time since we had a vlog up. We've just been so busy coaching <coughs> college as well. Like college has taken up both so much of our time for both of us. Um, but that's good, but it's also bad because we're not giving you the content you guys deserve. But um, we're gonna try and make a commitment to get a bit more active on YouTube. I know we said this before, but um, a lot of people have said that they actually really do enjoy the videos and they do learn a lot from them. So that is our goal ultimately to help a lot of people. So if we don't get content out, we don't help people. We've still been very active on our Facebook page, Instagram, our own personal Instagrams and all that kind of stuff. So if you're not following us there, you are missing out. If you are in for more of the higher level content that we put out, of course, I already know you're in the militia and you've seen the amount of work and content we've put out there. But I know a lot of people don't have that kind of excess cash lying around to either get into the group pro coaching program, which launched, I can't even remember now, a month ago maybe, um, can't afford coaching and don't have that extra income to afford being in the militia. Or you guys just don't want to be there but you do like getting a little bit more of an insight into how we are managing college, work, business, all that kind of stuff. So today's video, we're gonna go through a few things. Um, I trained back earlier on, it's kind of, I don't know why I looked at my wrist, I don't have a watch on. Um, it's probably about three o'clock now. And um, went to college and I'm back normally, I just stay in all day, but I wanted to get some content out to you guys. So. Trained back earlier on, recorded a few exercises. We're gonna break it down, go through a few of those, and then we'll get into a little bit more content after that. If you like the video, click like right now. Don't wait till the end. Now, moving into that there back workout. So lately I've been trying to progress my chin-ups. Um, you'll notice here I have that neutral grip, and I'm also not coming all the way down at the bottom, which I generally recommend for the majority of people, just with that grip that I have, I don't actually have that full range under control. And this is why I'm bringing in some pull-ups as well. And when we go through later on in the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. But you can see here with my right scapula, it doesn't really stay where I want it. And it's perfectly fine when I do lat pull downs and anything like that. And it's only when I move to a less stable environment like pull-ups that it starts to kind of exhibit some dysfunction. So I'm really working on that here now. And I could, you know, throw out a few extra reps, get heavier weights with this, but I really am trying to focus on really uh, depressing that scapula with each rep on this. And you can see there, I reached uh, fatigue and I just cut the rep short. I wasn't in the position I'd like to be in. Now, bent over rows, these are ones that everybody does terribly, you know? So look at the forearm there, look at that arc with the barbell. I did a post on it on Instagram. In a second here, you'll see what I'm talking about. What we're looking with this, or looking for with this, is to kind of shorten that so lat. When our goal is to train the lat, this big muscle here, as you can see, it crosses a lot of different positions, you know? So we have stuff going on down here at the ribs, we have stuff going on up here at the humerus, and then we have all this kind of stuff going on here around the spine, okay? Now, um, training the lats, a lot of people get wrong, okay? They think it's just, you know, throw the elbows back, and although looking to move the elbows, is a good kind of cue. It's not effective for really shortening these lat fibers and getting these as short as possible, okay? Now you're never gonna be able to truly fully shorten the lat muscles because as you can see, some fibers run this way, some fibers run this way, and some fibers run this way. So you're never gonna be able to shorten everything. So the back, this is why a lot of people have a hard time building muscle on the back purely because it does a lot of things, okay? This is why they use a lot of different exercises to really target the back, okay? Specifically the lats, okay? Now, as you saw there, when I was doing those bent over rows, what I was doing is I was focusing on the humerus here, 
Okay, and I was focusing on, let me put this in yellow, I was focusing on bringing the elbow back. Okay, and again, you can see that when I bring that elbow back this way, what we're effectively doing is shortening the distance from here to here. Okay, and you're never going to be able to shorten all of those lap fibers, but something like a bent over row, when you focus on really bringing that elbow back in that kind of arch or arc movement, really does effectively shorten all or most of these fibers. And as I said, you're never going to be able to shorten all of them. And in fact, even in a bent over row, you're not getting a huge amount of shortening of certain fibers. But you are able to effectively target the lats with that exercise. And this is what you need to be thinking of when you are doing your different exercises. You want to be thinking of, okay, so what am I actually trying to do with this exercise? And then how is this exercise supposed to be performed so that I can actually get the most benefit from it? You know, and as you saw earlier in the workout, I did a lot of kind of overhead movements. And as you can see, when I just turn this guy around, so yeah, when you see when this is this more upright position, you can kind of get a better idea of what's going on. And again, what we're looking to do with this is kind of really shorten these lats or bring these lat fibers down. So again, I'm thinking bringing those elbows or really driving those elbows down. With the first one you saw, my chin up, you know, I had a neutral grip and that really allowed me to kind of get the get the lats a little bit shorter here but it didn't as you saw I wasn't really paying attention to what was happening at the scapula okay and as you can see here the lats kind of go over the scapula there's a lot of stuff going on here and I'm not even paying respect to all the muscles that are all over the place in here you know they obviously all contribute and not just contribute to the movements but contribute to your overall back development so really focusing on what the scapula is doing and setting it in place really does help with your overall lap development, you know? So you could see there when I did the, the, the pull-ups, I was focusing on fully releasing that, letting the shoulder blades come up. And then before, while I was initiating that movement, I was focusing on bringing them down. I always think of like, putting them in your back pocket here as if you had jeans on, you're kind of pushing them back down into that. And that's how I'm initiating my pull-up movements now because when I do it on a lap pull-down, I have awesome control. I can do the whole stack, perfect. But when I bring it into a more full range, we'll say, because you do have to take into account that if you were on a lap pull-down, you'd also have your legs kind of tucked in underneath the bar here, whatever, something like that, and um, which doesn't kind of tilt the pelvis a little bit. Even if you try to arch into it, you know, you're not going to be getting the same movement um, as a pull up. And this is why people find they can do lap pull downs so the cows come home, but it doesn't necessarily transfer over to their pull up because it's not the exact same movements. But anyway, I notice when I do pull ups, my right scapula, this one that's actually drawn here, kind of starts to wing out a little bit, you know? So I'm bringing in pull-ups to really try to correct that, okay? Um, but yeah, so that's some kind of basics on the overall lat development. And they're a big muscle group, and unfortunately they're a muscle group that isn't trained effectively by a lot of people so unfortunately back muscles especially because you can't see them as well and um, they're very or a lot of people just don't train them effectively it's unfortunate as well that in your brain they're underrepresented and um, in your ability to kind of contract and control them because they are a big muscle they have multiple functions but they're not so they're very generalized they're not very specialized um, obviously they are specialized, but they do a huge amount of things. And um, so a lot of people find they do have a hard time building that mental connection with them and really getting as much control as they would like on those movements. 
So that was just a quick video to kind of update you on where we're at and talk a little bit about the back as a whole. If you like that kind of video, and um, we can go way more in depth with that kind of stuff. I was just really just playing around and um, with some new stuff we've got in, kind of drawing out some images, and um, because that's what we're going to move the militia towards, because I want it to be very easy to understand. And I find personally, and I find most people do find it easier to understand when you have a video explaining something or have some sort of infographic explaining something. So that's the kind of way we're moving with our content, but also still bringing in that high level, you know, really in-depth explanation of things. Because I think a combination of two, where you've got some very easy to understand information, but then also you can kind of read more in depth into it if you want. That's kind of the way forward because it's the best of both worlds. You can get a good understanding from the picture, from the videos like that I just did there. And then you can kind of go in and go, okay, what's actually happening? And then read more into the topic. Anyway, again, if you like the video, like the video. If you have any ideas or anything that you'd like to see explained, pop them down below. We're going to try to be a lot more consistent with YouTube, get a video, two videos up per week. Um, and hopefully that'll kind of satisfy everyone asking us for content. Um, but yeah, if you do have any questions or any comments, comment them down below. If you like this style of video, again, comment down below so we know what kind of information and content helps you understand things a lot better.